Hey, I'm Miner with RPS Solar Pumps. I'm here with my friend Scott, and today we're gonna show you how to build our eight panel adjustable top of pole mount kit. The 8P mount kit from Back 40 Solar is designed to mount eight 100 watt panels and can be found at the link in the description or the tab on the screen. The kit comes with two pull bracket clamps, four L plates, two tilt brackets, a bag of panel clamps, a bag of nuts and bolts, the instruction manual, two extension rails for mounting panel rails to, a total of eight panel rails for mounting panels to, and an Allen key. The first thing we're gonna do is identify due south. We used an app on our cell phone, but you can use whatever method you prefer. Once you identify due south, make a note of the direction. Next, insert two three-quarter inch bolts, labeled L in the manual, and temporarily secure them into the center holes on the pull bracket clamps as shown. For this fastening, it's okay to just make it finger tight as we are going to be loosening this very shortly. Next, place the clamp brackets on the top of your pole so that they line up west to east. This will allow the panels to face due south. Now, use four of the long 5 16 inch bolts labeled I in the manual and insert them through the clamp bracket. Keep these bolts loose and ensure you do not over tighten them or else they will not secure properly on the reverse side as shown here. Instead, fasten the nuts very loose so that all four bolts can easily be secured and then tighten securely using an adjustable wrench. When the clamp bracket is fastened securely to the top of your pole, you can remove the nuts that were secured to the three quarter inch bolts from earlier. This will allow us to mount our tiltable brackets as shown. When the panels are mounted to the top of your pole, you will be able to loosen these lower nuts and adjust the tilt angle to maximize the performance of your panels. For now, to ensure proper insulation, securely fasten these tilt brackets in the zero degree angle. Now Miner will tell us a little bit about mounting the extension rails to the tilt bracket. So I have here one of our extension rails. And so what we're gonna wanna do is to make sure that the C shape is facing outward away from the mount and that we have our two slots on the bottom and our four slots on top. Now, using the 5 16 bolts labeled J in the manual, secure the extension rails to the tiltable bracket. As Miner said, ensure that the C shape of the rail is facing away from the center of the pole and that the side with the four holes is facing up. Align the two rails so they extend the same amount on both sides and tighten all four bolts. So for this next part, we're gonna start assembling the rails and putting them together you'll notice that the rails have a Coke bottle shape here. And with the L plates, they're going to be sliding in place at the bottom here once we join them together. To properly extend the rails, note the shape of the L plate. The longer of the two sides is aligned to the bottom of the Coke bottle shape. Now take six of the 5 16 inch bolts and place them in each of the slots in the L plate. Then take the extension rail and join it to the L plate by sliding the heads of the first three bolts into the corresponding spots on the extension rail. Make sure to only slide the extension rail about halfway over the L plate so another rail can be connected. Secure the L plate in place by fastening nuts to each of the bolts on both sides of the extension rail. 
Because of the design of the slots, the heads of the bolts will not spin inside of the rail. Now join the other extension rail in the same manner, ensuring that the connection is flush. Repeat this until you have made four rails of equal length, each using two extensions. On each of your four rails, slide one 5 16 bolt into the bottom slot on each side. These will attach through each of the four slots on top of the rails already affixed to the tilt brackets. Once all four rails are connected to your tilt brackets and securely fastened, your rails will be ready to mount your panels on. Now that we have our rails in place, we can go ahead and start adding our end clamps to help hold up our panels. Take the shorter of the two Allen bolts and place it through the clamp. Then, loosely fasten a T-nut to the bolt, leaving enough room for the clamp to slide into place. Once the T-nut is fastened loosely to the end of the bolt, you can slip the end clamp into the rail, ensuring the T-nut runs perpendicular to the slot. Then, use the provided Allen key to loosely fasten the clamp to the rail. Pro tip! To ensure your panels appear straight, use a thin piece of wire or rope secured to each end of the rails, so you can align each end clamp. This won't increase the performance, but will make your installation a lot prettier to look at. With the end clamps in place, lift your panels onto the mount. When the panels are where you want them, loosen your end clamps, slide the panels in, and then tighten the end clamps back down, securing the panels to your mount. With the end clamps in place, we will be placing the mid clamps. These are the clamps shaped like a T and will use the longer of the two Allen bolts. They install in the same fashion as the end clamps and are placed in between stacked panels. When all four rows of panels are placed, you will use four more end clamps on the top rails to secure the top row. Once the top clamps are in place, your 8P adjustable mount is fully installed. If you have any solar questions, leave them in the comments below and they'll be featured in a future video or we'll answer them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're producing new content every week, so hit that notification button and subscribe to the videos to stay up to date on the latest solar pumping news.